Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications for all my future tutorials and today we've got a really cool tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the morphs and how to create uh, male characters and the reason I say that is because when we load up our neutral base here you'll see that that does load up a female avatar. So if you wanted to change that to a male character, I'll show you how to do that now. So once that's loaded up, all you wanna do is you wanna come over here to your actor tab, and then we can go down here and we can see we've got a number of different morph features. Now, what we're gonna do in order to change the character, we're gonna go to the full body morph, and in this section, you'll see you've got a number of different avatars and we're simply going to load the CC3 plus neutral male and you'll see straight away that will change your character into a neutral male. So we're going to remove uh, the bra and we'll just put some proper underwear on our character. I don't think he'd be um, wearing uh, ladies pants on a normal day. So we'll just put uh, some boxer shorts on. Okay, so now we can see we've got our male character loaded up. So we've just looked at the full body morph and what we're gonna look at next is the full body morphs with skin and we're gonna see how that kind of differs in results. So we'll use the same CC3 plus neutral male and I'll load that on there. But this is gonna come in with, uh, you know, morphs, eye elements, different um, kind of textures, etc. So you'll see it does give a complete different look to the character. Um, so, you know, it depends on what you're going for. If you want to kind of, um, you know, have a character pre-built, there you go. You can see he's got the skin on now. And if I undo that, you'll see uh, the difference with just using a body morph opposed to using a body morph with skin. So this is the normal result, uh, just using the body morph. So cool way you can create, you know, male characters and get loads of different looks. And another really cool, um, another really cool feature is the full body morphs. If we go into this tab here, okay, sorry, not the uh, full body morphs, the uh, body morph here. So if we go into this tab here and we open that up, you'll see we've got uh, some different looks here in terms of kind of uh, the body, etc. And what this will do is this will just morph the body. So it will leave the head exactly how it is and it will just change the body. So, you know, another cool feature is so you can get really quick uh, results and get some really uh, good character meshes built. And then if I go here up to head morph, or just, uh, we don't want it with the skin, so we'll just go to head morph here. You'll see, uh, we'll change the head and that will completely keep the body intact and how it is. So, you know, really easy way to get some really fast, uh, quick results. Uh, head's looking a little bit small here. And you can just uh, grab the head and morph that up. Uh, just grab it by the top, morph that up. Of course, we wouldn't put a female's head on a male's body, but maybe you wanna get creative and uh, do something weird and wacky. And so, yeah, just really cool feature that you can use these morphs to, you know, get really quick custom results. And, you know, then you can go in and you can start morphing and changing the character to look exactly how you wish or have desired in your head. So um, another cool feature is that we can then go up to our morph section here. And uh, this will allow us to do some really cool things. If we go into our characters, um, we can actually pinpoint uh, exact parts of the body. We can double click and then that will load up the morph here. And we can then play around with that and get the desired results that we're trying to achieve. And we can do that on a number of different um, kind of a number of different sliders that we've got access to here. Now these same sliders here, they will appear here in your morph tab, and to access them, you just need to go onto the uh, go onto the tab. So if we click on our arm here, you can see a number of uh, a number of different sliders we can use. Uh, so there we use that slider here, and you can see that same slider is over here. So there are 
they are the same sliders in the morph. However, you do get a couple in here that aren't in here, and I'll show you in a second. Uh, another way you can use these morphs is you can use the drop down menu here, and that will just give you a little bit more options in terms of the arm. You'll get the armpit, the upper arm, and the forearm. So you can then start, you know, uh, messing around with all of that and getting the desired results that you wish for. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are some functions in the morph section over here that you can't access over here. And if we just scroll down, you'll see those shortly pop up. And they're just different kind of custom expressions that you can put on your character. Uh, so here we go, as you can see, um, we've got um, a few different sliders here and you can see we've got a total of 581, so on the next pages there's a lot more of these. Uh, but what I'll show you is when you double click them, you can then, you know, add a facial expression morph to your character. And, you know, it's a really cool way to, you know, get some really good custom looks and mix and blend different kind of uh, motions and different facial expressions to get um, a really cool desired look. So that kind of concludes the tutorial. Um, it was just a quick one just to show you how to use those morphs. Um, I'm sure you can go away and get really, really creative and start to come up with some amazing, amazing different characters using those different morphs and those different sliders. Really hope it helped and hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.